Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and we're going to be playing a new game called That Dragon Cancer. Um, I learned about this uh, through a podcast I was listening to. I heard the guy's story, the guy who created this game. It's pretty sad, and uh, it definitely deserves my respect to play it. So, there probably won't be much of me talking, considering it has a lot of dialogue in it. Um, but headphones are de definitely recommended it's beautiful music and just so you can hear all the dialogue because it's it's going to be a, a rough game for me to get through but I have to do it <laughs> alright looks like I start off as a duck <laughs> how nice Sorry if this this game makes me cry a little bit. It probably will. <laughs> Gotta pick up the bread. Oh, don't touch the birds. No, 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 no. Oh. Don't touch the birds. No, they're gross. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sick right after he turned one. Um. <laughs> Can I slow him down a little bit, buddy? So he's just slower than most kids. I think eventually he'll catch up. Is he doing a weed? Yeah, I think Joel will read eventually. Of course, he's just the way. Because, you know. Yeah. You're supposed to be a boy, but he's a baby. He's a boy baby. <laughs> yep, he's a boy baby. That's just about right. <laughs> you know, there's lots of things Joel isn't good at, but there's some things he is good at. What is he good at? He's eating, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're good at making him laugh. You are good at making him laugh. Why, how do you make him laugh? <laughs> I fall down. Yeah. It's really funny when you fall down. Okay. He's good at doing us what he loves. Yeah. <laughs> Love when he says more. It reminds me of my daughter. <laughs> what does Joel love? Wawa. <laughs> In cups and bathtubs. And the warm, wet tongues and the cool fur of Das. And the Vita Sweet was a daily affection. And bye byes. And blown kisses. <laughs> and more. Oh, always more. This full list of words. <laughs> so few words. Okay. It's really pretty. I see these black, black trees. He talked a little bit about this game um, and why these black. Why wow, these black hope. things are there? What is hope without a word for? Who is God? 
What is joy? Who am I to him? <laughs> Dada. <laughs> Who's that? Let's tell him, Kayla, that Joel's doing really well. He's been very peaceful all afternoon. So they're taking okay, Joel. Care of him. Ready? And that's how he gets his food. Yeah. His food goes through that set. too. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Set. You want to touch okay, him? Okay, Joel. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just pat his cheek, okay? Set. Okay. Ready? Pat his cheek. Yeah. Yes. Set. See? It's okay, jolly. Joel. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Set. Yeah. Go. You want, you want to touch him, Kayla? No. Okay. You can just pat his head over here if you want. What, what do you think, Isaac? <laughs> he just, he's, he's in a hospital, so they're taking care of him. And that's how he gets his food. His food goes through that, too. Mm, oh. Yeah. My little sister has a, a tube that she... Same way. I'll tell you more about it when you get home. 
Hmm. Hmm. Do a kiss. This is supposed to represent the cancer. Fear is cancer's preservative. Cancer's embalming oil. And you, O oh accuser, are fear's oil salesman. You're a snake. A serpent. A dragon with snuffed out coal on his breath, molting, and talons broken from the struggle to free yourself of your own skin. hospital looks like <laughs> this is the part he was talking about this is basically the reason why he wanted to make this game was this scene coming up I think Hey, do you want to rock? Okay, let's rock. There we go. Oh, sh 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 sh. I was just thinking, do you ever think maybe Joel can hear better than he's supposed to be able to? Because I know, like, it's supposed to be moderate to severe hearing loss, but sometimes, like today, he hears music playing before I do. So I saw him dancing, and I had to look around to hear that a song was playing. And I just don't, like, if his hearing loss is that bad, I can't imagine. I don't know. I just wonder about it. Anyway, call me later. Bye. So I think it's, it's feeding. It's done. Oh, that was the feeding. Those are the balloons. Glove balloons. Oh, 
about to go to sleep. not gonna pop his balloons, is it? Okay, I have to guide him. go until I pop all the balloons. <laughs> oh, hey, um, I just wanted to take a shower. Is that okay? Are you okay with Joel? Okay, thanks. Where's Joel? Oh. Real pub wants to grab it, crazy. It's a real pub. So far it's not, not that bad, but still definitely sad. End of treatment party. I wonder if those are real people. Must be. to be but those are actual drawings let me see right here I 
family in color. Yeah, these are... I don't know if I can handle all these paintings. Voicemail. Hey, I'm cleaning up eggs again. A dozen eggs on the kitchen floor again. So we have to get a new lock for the fridge. Do you, oh, it's so, so hard to clean up eggs from the floor. Like they just spread around and they don't come clean no matter what you do. So I was just so frustrated, but you should have seen them together. They were so proud of themselves. Joel and Elijah just sitting there with their eggs. Isaac said he thinks they want to be cookers. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. Wanna be cookers? Connor. These are probably all cancer patients. Battery's getting low. Hey honey, we're on our way home from the hospital now. So if you wanted to preheat the oven starting in about 30 minutes, that would work and we could throw in that lasagna. Um, do you know how they celebrate off treatment day? Like when kids are done with their treatments? I I guess maybe you don't because you're not in the clinic as much as I am, but on someone's last day, they always bring them a cake and they sing happy off therapy day to you. Anyway, that happened today. I mean, it happens a lot, but today I cried. I just wanted that day so bad, you know? I just like, we're not ever gonna get that day. If he's better, we won't know that he's better we don't get a day anyway okay call me if you can like there's probably traffic so i could talk on my way home all right bye Sixty, real quick. Did anyone ask the doctor? Okay, is it just the doctor on call, or is this our doctor? Well, because the on-call doctor is just a resident. Is there a way we could talk to our doctor? It just seemed like yesterday it kind of came point for us. I just want to know what the plan is. Who canceled the treatment? I mean, isn't it dangerous for him not to get it? I thought he needed. 
I, I know you're just doing your sleep, but can I, can I just talk to the doctor that ordered it? Just avoid them. Whoa. Now it's like a different hallway. Oh, we can't go to him? Can't go to Joel? I guess not. Well, that's gonna be hard. I guess that's us leaving him. Temple of Man. Oh, wow. Supposed to be like a, a brain scanner. Hehehe <laughs> 
Waking up, everyone who's ever died of cancer, especially my father and grandmother. Rest in peace, Hank, Marsha, and the rest of you beautiful, beautiful people. I hope that whatever's become of you, you are presently better off than you were at the end of your life. We miss you. These are going to make me cry. <laughs> Can't read the red one. But have no fear, the story's just begun. This terrible routine, watching you, waiting for you to wake, hoping you will never remember these days of illness and treatment. One day, I'll bring you here, show you your tiny handprints on the wall, and you'll be annoyed that we all think of you as some big miracle. Cancer will be such a small part of all you could grow to be. You will tire of hearing about it. You won't want to see the cards and notes I saved, and I won't mind at all. I'll hold the memories of this hard day. You just leave it behind. Okay. These must be uh, like dedications. That's a sad card. through them all but every single one of these 
every single one. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's not good. I'm sorry guys, it's not good. I'm sorry guys, it's not good. I'm sorry guys, it's not good. Let's set it, let's see remember that moment. How big it is, I can, I can face it, I can size it up. And it's quite small at this point, but unfortunately the size isn't terribly important. Any recurrence means the chemotherapy has failed. This is a tragedy. How big is it? Well, it's it's in the frontal cortex. And it's quite small at this point, but unfortunately the size isn't terribly important. Any recurrence means the chemotherapy has failed. This is a tragedy. With an ATRT, as soon as you have a recurrence of any kind, it is fatal. It's only a matter of time before it spreads to several locations. We've already thrown all the chemotherapy we have at it. We can't continue to give him chemotherapy that we know it's resistant to. So there just aren't any treatment options that are curative. We're very good at end-of-life care. We're very good at managing the pain and masking symptoms at the end of life. Oh, miracles 
are scary. How long are we talking about? A few weeks to maybe four months. Four months? What is that? February? So we have Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, Joel's birthday, maybe Valentine's Day, and that's it? And, oh, we still haven't told anyone I'm pregnant. Too scared they'd think it was irresponsible. And now this? They'll think it's a replacement baby. I don't want a replacement. The could probably kill the tumor we see now, which would prevent it from causing any symptoms. But it would not keep more tumors from developing. Because we know if it's spread here, it has spread other places too. So, the radiation would buy us some time? No, nothing will really buy us any time at this point. It just can make the time you have left more comfortable. So, we'll schedule you to come back in Monday, and we'll have some options for you to consider. We're so sorry. In the movie, I'd be kicking things and throwing chairs through windows. Amy would be sobbing back against the wall, slowly falling. I should be yelling. Why am I not yelling? Thank you. That means a lot. You're welcome. Sorry, guys. It's not good. The MRI? They both are clear! Still shattered the currency of his tumor. Where is it? How big is it? Well, it's in the tunnel surface. And it's quite small at this point. But unfortunately, the size isn't terribly important. Any recurrence means the chemotherapy has failed. This is a tragedy. With an ACLC, as soon as you have a recurrence of your mind, it is fatal. It is only a matter of time before it spreads to several locations. We have already thrown all the chemotherapy we have at it. We can't continue to give them chemotherapy that we know is resistant to. So there just are not any treatment options that are curious. A few weeks to maybe four months. We can be a lot to think about already today. But we're going to have you come back Monday, and we can talk about how you just did it. Drift. things stirring around in my spirit that I have to write to settle myself and find God's wisdom in the midst of chaos. I'm scared I won't be strong enough to face the things we might have to face in the coming weeks and months. But then I remember how much grace God gave us to walk out everything we've already faced. 
I've never felt completely broken, and I've never felt alone. So no matter what comes next, and I truly cannot even begin to guess how this will go, I know we will be carried. I want to shout out, look what God is about to do. Watch how he delivers Joel. And at the same time, I want to roll up in a silent ball and wait it out with fear and trembling, so aware of all my doubt, but yet convinced that my doubt is insignificant compared to God's through so much already. This is a new degree of tragedy, but it's not so much different from the struggle we've already been living. We pressed into God. We pressed into faith. We fought until we found peace. We stood in peace when our flesh wanted to strive more. We stood in peace when it started to feel like laziness or foolishness or both. <laughs> we waited for God to direct us specifically in prayer because all the directions we had initiated had not panned out. We prayed for no nausea because that's what we felt in our spirits we were supposed to pray, even though we'd prayed it countless times before while Joel continued to vomit. We saw one small miracle and then another. We waited to pray specific things until we were given specific direction and we saw bigger miracles and yet, if you asked either of us if we were doing enough, trying hard enough, we would say no. Dear Eli, I feel nothing but pride for the way you battled cancer. I remember the way you learned to ride your tricycle down the hospital hallway instead of down the sidewalk like other three-year-olds. It was hard for me to pray to God, mm. thy will be done when I really just wanted so desperately for him to heal you. In the four and a half years that you dealt with harsh treatments, only once did you ask why God let you get cancer. I hope he has been able to explain the why to you, as I have always believed that he knew how strong you were and wanted to use you and your situation to positively impact so many lives. I remember how you never let me go to bed without telling me that you loved me and how those were your very last words to me. You taught me what was truly important in life, son. Still now, years after you left Earth, people are impacted by your life and the lessons you taught us. Thousands of people from around the world read your blog and still feel such a strong connection to you, even though they never met you in person. Expectation is so maddening sometimes. Do you know what she wrote on the eve of Joel's first surgery? The one back in January when we first found the tumor? I seriously feel like a kid on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I'm pleading for God to spare his life. And I'm tempted to despair because self-inspection leads me to conclude I shouldn't expect much of anything. <sighs> and yet my wife is expecting a surprise party from the Lord replete with presents and supernatural miracles. <sighs> I envy her. Sad. Hop in bed, boys. Let's go. Boys, get in bed. 
Oh. Can you at least tell us a story? Uh, um, sure. Okay. This is the story of a very brave knight named Joel. Joel the baby knight? Yes. Joel the baby knight. But he's also Joel the very brave knight. And he was being chased by a dragon named Cancer. Because of a streamer? Mm hmm. Where does the dragon live? Um, in a forest. Is the dragon big? Very big. Does the dragon uh -huh. breathe fire? Much uh -oh. fire, you guys. So, Joel has armor, like a sword and a shield and stuff? Ooh, or maybe a spear? Yeah, that sounds good. So, so brave Sir Joel with his sword and his shield and his awesome spear. Ooh. And I'm a his sword. jumping ability was being chased by a dragon <laughs> named Cancer. What other superpowers does he have? Uh, he also has grace. That's not a superpower. <laughs> it's the best superpower. Do you guys know what grace means? Yeah, it's kind of like help. Yeah, it's kind of like help. No, and he's not the only one who's ever tried to fight this dragon. Some very brave knights have fought this dragon and lost. And some are able to drive the dragon off, and they can go home, and they can quit fighting for a while. Joel's been fighting this dragon for a long time, huh? A long time. This is so cool. But Joel found a nice empty cave where he could rest. And it seems like the dragon couldn't find him. But just when he thought that the danger was past, the dragon found his hiding spot and came after him in the cave. That's so sad. But that dragon's going to kill Joel. Joel's going to lose. Why do you say that? Because Joel is just a baby. Babies can't kill dragons. You're right. God fights for Joel. So he fights that dragon cancer right with Joel. And we know that God can win even if Joel can't. That's grace. you're not able to beat the dragon. Ryan, get 
the boat. <laughs> I can't. You have to, you'll drown. We're already drowning. How can you sit there like that? Despair doesn't help anything. <laughs> Neither does false hope. And I'm not despairing. How can you say false hope? You're drowning! Well, you're missing your oars! And you don't even know where you're going! And yet you're so sure you're gonna get there! It's better than drowning! Well, enjoy floating on the surface like you always do. There's nothing deep about drowning. Just get in the boat! You have to let me feel this! Someone has to. That's not fair. I love him as much as you do. I just really believe we're going to be okay. looks like denial, but seeing Joel dying does not make me any less certain that he will be here. In some ways, I feel more certain, not because the same doubts don't come to me, but because I know that they will not be entertained much longer, because this chapter is almost finished, and we will have an ending one way or the other. So the doubts and fears that make me reaffirm that even if I'm wrong, this is where I stand, become less and less powerful. Dehydration. Huh. The sunset looks pretty from here. The orange glow cast on the wall. Better than the muted colors of this hospital. I wonder why they choose blues and greens. <laughs> they, the ones who choose the colors that heal. Green for... Life. Blue. Hmm. For comfort? Purple stripes. To hide the stains. <laughs> huh. This chair is too small. It sticks to my skin. I hate vinyl. Blue. Purple. <laughs> hmm. The ocean, maybe? No. Under the ocean. Silent. Warm. And salty. Like tears. He won't stop crying. I don't blame him. He feels miserable. I hate that we're here. I hate that he's sick. I just want to feel better. It's okay, Jolie. Shh. Oh, don't throw your head, buddy. Don't. About. 
I hate this room. I didn't used to. For a, for a moment, it was an adventure. I was cast as the compassionate and caring father, holed up with his fragile son in a small cleft in the rocks. The storm raging, waves ripping at the sharp black rocks below, and enveloped in my arms, he feels safe, and I am holding him firmly, trying not to slip. Because if you hold tight enough, nothing will take him. Right? around. <laughs> Is that funny? A bounce, a bounce, a bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> well, he won't stop crying. It's the box. I don't catch it. <laughs> he drinks it greedily. Big, deep gulps. Okay, Jolie, that's enough. Breathe, kiddo. And he does. And I wipe his face of snot and tears, and juice. And then he vomits, and I catch it. I always catch it. <laughs> I know you're thirsty, buddy, but you'll throw it up. No, don't grab too hard. You'll squirt all the juice out. Here, let me have it. I can't hold you. I can't make you feel better. Okay, buddy, okay, I'll hold you. Oh, Joel Bug, you look so miserable. head on the bars, Joel. 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 I know you're mad. Please stop. Please. St stop. I shake. I weep. I pray. I plead. I need peace. You are there. 
I want you. I want you to call my son. And you've brought us this far. He's still here. Not dead. Not there. With you. God, I want him here with me. Please. Peace. He sleeps. Thank you. That scene was the whole reason he wanted to make this this game. There's a story in the Bible where Jesus and his disciples are on a boat. And a furious storm hits the sea and everyone thinks they're gonna die. And where do you think Jesus is? Rowing alongside them? No. He's asleep. In the back of the boat. So his disciples are freaking out and wake him up and they say, Don't you care if we drown? So Jesus gets up and he says to the storm, Quiet, be still. And the sea becomes completely calm. Then he asks his disciples why they are so scared and if they have any faith at all. Like he was frustrated with them. Because even though Jesus said, let's go to the other side of the lake, his disciples thought he was going to just let them die. About three and a half hours, bud. Oh. <laughs> well, it's 10 a.m. now, so that means you guys can grab one more item from your road trip bags. And it's my turn to be the king. <laughs> oh, Elijah, it's okay. You were a very good, noble, just, and true king. But now we have to do it as a cons. My best edict as king is dance like egg monkeys for 30 minutes. <sighs> Maybe like five minutes? Nope, nope, babe. He said 30. We must do what he says. This is the worst. Someone make Elijah the king. There's monkey tickles. There's monkey tickles. <laughs> But more than that, if he does die, will Jesus even care? Will he weep for him as he did for Lazarus? Will he weep for me? I think greater than my fear of death is that of insignificance. 
rather. My default assumption is that my thoughts and passions and loves and the stuff of my being are insignificant. How could the creator of all that is and ever was love my son as he did Lazarus? And could my soul stranded on this blue raft awash in a sea of stars, ice, and dust matter enough to him to turn his hand in mercy? Jesus wept for Lazarus. Five minutes later, he raised Lazarus from the dead. I should have known we'd both end up in the same place. We always do. It just scares me every time. I just really believe he'll be healed. I, I know you believe too, just when you act like that, I get all unsure. I don't know that. What do you mean? I just hope that. so rough. <laughs> Temple of God. scaffolding I think the reason the scaffolding exists is because as he said this was all going on as his son was passing away and they hadn't finished the game yet This was one of the parts that they had, they were trying to construct. Oh man. Lord, rise up. 
my God, come save him. Oh, Lord, my God, let this boy's life return to him. Two. Lord, have mercy on us because he is weak. Lord, rise up. My God, come save him. There's they keep going out. Oh my gosh, the cancers flooded the back of the... That's rough. Amazing grace, they have shown undeserved favor towards us. God, this is not beyond you. It is not, it is not something that is difficult for you or hard for you. Lord, but we ask as your children, Lord, you call us children and you call us your friend, and we ask God for the healing of Joel. I will not let you go unless you bless him. Oh, Lord, my God, let this boy's life return to him. Lord, rise up. My God, come save him. Lord, have mercy on us because he is weak. Thank you. Right now, Jesus. I will not let you go unless you bless him. 
Oh, Lord, my God, let this boy's life return to him. Rise up. My God, come save him. Mercy on us because he is weak. something right. I will not let you go oh, unless Lord, you bless him. Oh my God, let this boy's life return to him. Lord, rise up. My God, come save him. It's because he is weak. gone. He was not in the wind. He was not in the earthquake. He was not in the fire. He was here in a gentle whisper. Panic at the edge of the world. Or picnic at the edge of the world. So here we are, and the air is emptier without his laugh, and yet our hearts are still full, though with a different drink. And this ride we've been on for so long is silent, and so also the Lord. And so we sit here in this new silence, and long for the music to start again, and for the disc to spin again, even if it means going round and round for many more years. For at least we would be moving and Joel would be laughing here on earth. And not only in heaven. But in this space, 
I sense his silence is only because he is drawing his breath. And now we know love and longing, empty and full, all in one moment. And I am grateful that we loved him well. And that we miss him well. And I hope that in the Lord's next breath, he will whisper his love song to you. And that you will know him differently and more deeply. But now, we grieve in silence, yet not without his presence. For me, a little one is for my dog. I always wanted a dog, and now I got one. I even got to name it Banjo. Mm-hmm. Whoa, Bubbles? No. Banjo doesn't catch a bubble. She likes to bite them. I love bubbles. Look, I can touch one. <laughs> I want more bubbles. I love the bubbles. Do you see a rainbow in a bubble? <laughs> I'm here, me and you. Have another pancake. <laughs> I can eat wherever I want. I never fall. Mm-hmm. Hi, Joel. Take it all in.
lot of support. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Um, if you did like this game, do them a favor and me a favor and buy this game and play it for yourself. Um, I know if you just watched me play through it, but it is it is an experience. So, and it helps uh, whenever you buy the game. It definitely helps support them so they can create other games later on. Um, Jill's father was the one who got this game kickstarted and, and going um, so definitely show some su support for that as well and uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video later